of the best of five. Very good first game as well. Excellent first game. This is probably one of the best best games. I did say what a lot, what a lot of barracks though. Holy smokes. Okay. Well, now you know how powerful uh um, ghosts can be, and I'm sure every toss knows ghosts can be a pain in the ass. So here we are on daybreak. We have Man Man Manchinathon on the top right of daybreak, and then the bottom left we have Workhorse the Red Terran. Wow, he's a pretty good Terran, I gotta say. Really, a little. He had a lot of production buildings. I think the mistake that Materia made is not going Colossus. You need Colossus, and that rapes the bio pretty well. As long as you don't get EMP in the process. But you have an observer with your army, so that doesn't happen. Um, but yeah, uh, definitely no Colossus. Uh, Storm, yeah, it's nice, but. Not when you get EMP'd <laughs> like in that game, because it got EMP'd pretty heavily, uh, I would say. And the EMP just wins all day long. Okay, so we can see here he's probably going to go for a one get expand. We'll soon see what happens here. Uh, will he go for a one gasless FE, or will he go for a gas FE? We'll soon see what uh, the Red Terran Workhorse would like to do. This is a very good matchup. Again, a Platinum against a Platinum. So you're seeing some really good high caliber play. Um, no, it's not Masters. No, it's not Grandmasters, ever. So some really good play in all. Just bad choice, I think, not getting Colossus. That really hurt um, and turn the last game. Yeah, Storm is a good idea. Not so good when you have that many ghosts. Um, yeah, Bio will just win all day long. So we're going for one gasless expand. Uh, the gasless expand by the Workhorse Terran. Um, and as you can see, he's also gone scouting as well. Just trying to get an, an area as to what is going on. Uh, does you know try to interrupt the probe from mining? Not really a big huge deal. It's a little bit of harassment, but not too big. Now we're going with one zealot. The zealot will not be able to catch the SUV, so the SUV can run all day long, and uh, there's no way the zealot's going to catch him. So this time he said, "I'm not going to let a stalker kill me this time." I'm gonna move back. Now, is it gonna be a little better bunker this time? Although the bunker positioning didn't ha didn't hurt them uh, like in the, in the ending of the game, but I thought it was just a bad position in total. So we do have two gas being taken, and we do have two additional barracks being taken as well. So he's gonna be sitting on three racks. This looks like to be a better position uh, for the bunker as long as the zealot and stalker don't. Be be able to get by here. Uh, that's pretty much the big thing here. Uh, the Zell is here and the Stalker is here as well. Uh, that bunker will not be ready um, and the protest will get the harassment in as normal. Now the Zell is, is, is he stopped the bunker from being, being able to be finished and that's actually a pretty big deal. Um, now that uh, Zealot will get an SUV kill, um, but that SUV will not even get to finish that bunker. So really good to brass here right now. Will it get the bunker? Will it cancel it? <clears throat> Does send in four SUVs just uh, as getting some more SUVs that are killed, being killed right now. He needs to get a Marine in that bunker. He's losing workers. So again, five SUVs were killed in that engagement. So he also expanded, got his nexus up, and just going for the two uh, robotics bay coming out as well, a little earlier than last time. And we do have a forge. Hmm. 
So he's going for upgrades earlier. Okay, so three, three gates and another forge coming out. Gas being taken right now. So Protoss will be sitting on total two gas and mining from two, two, two mining bases. Um, so we're not really sure why he went forge early, early like that. That's kind of weird. Um, Terran uh, did not really get uh, any of that. He's just building barracks. So he's got he's going to have five total barracks right now. Um, as long as you just keep building SUVs, you don't stop. Um, you can't stop. You have to keep laying the mules down when you're when you're. Uh, especially when your energy gets high, so we'll soon see what what happens. And Terran does lay down the mule, of course, at the secondary base. Now mules are like four SUVs, so pretty pretty good. Now we do have two more gateways up and coming. Um, we have stem timing. We have plus one armor coming up as well. Um, no Colossus tech as of yet, so I prefer to go armor than the actual, uh, okay, so it's getting both, alright, not bad, it's okay, I guess. And we do have that sentry, uh, zealot count, just kind of here at the, uh, uh, where the, the ramp would be at that natural. Trying to defend the uh, Terran, uh, push up the ramp, so not really a bad choice. You can make those two uh, gateways right now. Uh, he's probably just uh, forgetting to do that. One one is halfway done right now for the Terran. Also, you got plus one weapons and also combat shield uh, coming up for the protest. And you can see a Twilight Council on the way. Right now, so a Twilight Council is on the way. Back here at the Terran base, you can see this. Nothing really. Calls down a supply. Probably a little bit of an error. Should really keep building supply depots so that does not happen. Um, need to keep making supply depots. You can't stop. Uh, because you can get supply blocked really quickly. Uh, Terran seems to be pretty well ahead though. I mean, he's. 102 worth of supplies, so I'm not sure if he really needed that, uh, or maybe that was when he just was kind of low. And we have a rain water mix of the uh, observer, just checking out to see if there's a third disc quite yet. Saying, all right, no third yet. Uh, but there is a bio force moving up here. Uh, now, if, if Protoss is paying attention, you should be able to get some force fields off and at least prevent this. Um, now, I'm sure that uh, Kodos knows that he's there. Taking down the rocks first, just get a less, a less of a chug point, uh, which is actually a good idea. But three centuries, full energy, should get off some pretty good force fields. Um, I'm hoping. So we'll soon see what, uh, oh yeah, all right, that's a pretty good force field. That's not bad. Um, and Guardian Shield as well, not bad. But Terran's gonna be able to push right up if, if uh, Protoss does not do something here. Um, Yeah, that bio is pretty deadly. So we, we see the bio, they're just going to come in. They could just take this out now. I mean, that's them. Uh, I mean, there's just not enough units here by Potas. Uh, there's just not enough there. I mean, this bio, uh, Marauder, I don't care. It's them. That's GG. Very, very quick second. Very, very quick second. Didn't turn out like the first game, that's for sure. Wow. Workhorse is a really good turn.